we're going to be reviewing old. That's what it's called. Old. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, now, me and my husband watched this one. But let's go ahead and check out the trailer first. Hopefully, no copyright strike. Well, a bunch of stuff in the sand. <laughs> then you said stuff in the sand. Okay, M. Night Shyamalan. Um, I think the last, yeah, the last thing I saw from him was um, Mr. Glass out of that whole Unbreakable series. And that was all right. I think he did Mr. Glass. I'm assuming he did all three of them split Unbreakable, Mr. Glass. Okay, I think I've had enough of that. <sighs> All right, so well, it looks like people go to this beach, people start aging, and people are scared. It's interesting, if nothing else, and it's an M. Light Shyamalan movie, so we shall see. Hello everyone, it's Audrey with Audrey's Variety Show, and as always with the movie reviews, I watch the trailer, I go to the movies, and now it's time to review the movie. And today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Old, and oh my god, I'm going to try my best not, <laughs> I'm already starting. Uh, but let's get through this, okay? Let's get through this. Uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. As always, the scale for these movies, <laughs> rating for these movies is always a little unorthodox. Um, this movie tickled me so much. Uh, I either have Skip It, Matinee Price, Stream it or go out and watch, go out and see it. And with that being said, old. Now I don't do spoilers, and I am going to stick to that. But when I say this movie is ridiculous, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like um, I'm not too familiar with uh, some of these actors. I know um, the mom character in this movie, uh, she's played in some other things. Uh, but for the plot, the plot of old is this family goes to this resort and as a family vacation, and they end up going being offered by the resort to go into this secluded area of the beach. And... Um, so, so they make their way down there and things start to happen on this beach. Um, all of, uh, as the trailer we, we saw uh, shows, the children start aging very rapidly and where they're trying at this point, you know, people are trying to figure out what is going on. Um, and that's the premise of this movie. Now, I don't know what M. Night was really thinking about, like, because this, this movie is based off of a, I believe, a comic book or, or some type of novel. 
And so he's adapting this novel. And the, the premise itself is fine. I mean, like the, the message of, you know, um, you know, aging and um, time spent and, and, you know, life progression. And it's all very interesting, you know, it's a good premise, a good, a good, you know, message. But I, some of the camera shots, you know, I didn't quite understand. They kind of went over my head. Um, now this is not a scary movie. It's not a. It's not really a horror movie. It's I. I you, you could say suspense or thrill or thriller, because I'm not into any one of those genres. Um, I went because that's my my husband likes that type of genre of movie. And there were some of the camera shots, you know, where the people would be would be aging, and but uh, other people don't notice. So you know, it's the pan, like things are happening in like a, a blurred out, uh, far away shot, and then up close you have the um, the parents, you know, reacting to another problem that they're having on the beach. Um, Rufus uh, Rufus Swill does a really good job. Um, he plays a doctor in this um in this movie so um and so as far as the characters go you know um there is some character development for the mom character of these two uh of these two children which are our, our main focus this one family um going through things uh like the husband and wife uh, um, but other than that, like they, there's really no, you know, um, character development per se. It's just, uh, well, at least to me, I could be wrong. It's just more just characters at reacting to, um, the situation in which they are in and just, and this is just, okay, this problem's happening and this is how we're going to react to it. And then this problem happens and this is going to, how we're going to react to it. Now, um, like I was, my suspension of disbelief was completely destroyed <laughs> for a number of things that are just way too nonsensical in this movie. Um, like one of the characters' name is Midsize Sedan. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. One of the characters' name is Midsize Sedan, and he's a rapper. And I'm just like, okay, that was what? Number one. Well, really two. And then, you know, I, I, I didn't care for you. You see it in the trailer. Um, the, this girl ages, and um, the 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 girl becomes pregnant and all of this kind of stuff and uh, it wasn't done in in it wasn't done in poor taste but it was very awkward and jarring i mean that didn't really need to have to be in the movie because by by the time that happens we get it we got it things are happening very fast and all of this like that didn't that couldn't have that really didn't serve any purpose in the movie that could have been taken out for no, for, for, and the, and the movie would have worked just fine without it. it more, maybe for a shock value. I'm not sure what the purpose behind that was. Like, I haven't read Sandcastle, so I couldn't tell you, um, what about, <laughs> about what the, what all goes on. But I will say, yeah, so there's all of that. And so, and that's pretty much the entire movie. Like, um, and towards the, uh, at the, towards the third act, like, cause the movie kids kept going on and on and on. And there were so many nonsensical things happening that I just, I kind of, by the third act, I was already done with the movie. I, I was, I had been done with the movie and I hate to say that I, I'm not one to, you know, crack and hoop and holler and and be very reactive and very responsive in movies but this one did and my husband can attest to that because we go to a lot of movies and i'm not a person to say you know start snickling and giggling and screaming and all that and, and jumping and all that kind of stuff 
This one did. <laughs> and we're still teasing each other about it. And I ruined the entire movie for these people in this theater. I really did. Oh my God. They could, because there is a scene in the third act and um, there's body there's body horror in this movie. And when I say I cracked up laughing, I just cracked up laughing. I could not help it. I could not hold it in anymore. That was the final straw for me in this movie. I was... <laughs> Because it was so nonsensical and that just, and that was just the icing on the cake for me. I was completely done with this movie. It was so ridiculous. It was so ridiculous. And even after this, the movie still keeps going on. The movie still keeps going on. And, but, and the movie resolves itself. Um, I'm sorry. I can't even properly review this. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm done. I'm done because I can't. And this this segment has gone on for far long enough. Okay, this movie <laughs> gets a matinee price. Uh, not a skip it. Not a stream it. Well, okay, stream it or matinee price because um, it's not a bad movie. It's just one of those movies that are very nonsensical, like mid-sized sedan. Come on, the 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 rapidly aging girl pregnancy that that, that could have been that didn't need to be in the movie. Um, there were just so many things that just just keep taking you out of the movie. I mean, uh, we had a good laugh because the movie. <laughs> <laughs> because it was just ridiculous. But anyways, that's all about that. <laughs>